Bleriot 11, first built in 1909, the chances of getting to fly in one are next to nil, but a few airworthy craft still remain. A restored Bleriot 11 makes a low pass over the airfield at the Warbirds over Wanaka International Air Show in Lake Wanaka, New Zealand in 2006. Junkers F-13, German luggage manufacturer Ramau has financed the building of an exact replica of a Junkers F-13, the world's first all-metal aircraft. The new F-13 will soon accept reservations from passengers. Junkers Ju-52, the Junkers Ju-52, nicknamed Tanti Ju, Anti Ju, has a tri-motor configuration and corrugated metal skin. One of them now sits in Krakow's Polish Aviation Museum. De Havilland Dragon Rapide The De Havilland Dragon Rapide played a role in mid-20th century history, carrying both General Francisco Franco and Charles de Gaulle on key operations in the 1930s and 1940s. Here is a Dragon Rapide in the Royal Air Force's livery in 1935. Douglas DC-3, sometimes dubbed the world's first truly modern airliner, the Douglas DC-3 aircraft first flew in 1935. Many DC-3s of all variants are still flying around the world. Lockheed Super Constellation Only a handful of Super Constellations are still flying. Here is a rare Super Connie restored by Amical Du Super Constellation, an association dedicated to restoring and preserving this flagship of French aviation. Convair 580 Air Chathams is the only airline that still operates a Convair 580 nowadays. The Convair 580 was truly ahead of its time, and it comes with an exceptional level of system redundancy. It is very robust and able to operate effectively in all sort of climates, says Dwayne and many of Air Chathams. Boeing 707, setting standards for passenger comfort and aircraft design, the Boeing 707 was a pioneering modern long-haul jet when it entered service in 1958. Douglas DC-8, a contemporary rival of the Boeing 707, the DC-8 was the first plane to break the sound barrier, for 16 seconds during a test flight. Douglas DC-9, the relatively small DC-9 opened up many thin routes for jet service. American magazine publisher Hugh Hefner once owned a DC-9 jetliner and named it the Big Bunny. Bus A300, the A300, pictured in mid-air, was the first plane designed and produced by Toulouse manufacturer Airbus. It marked the moment that the European commercial aviation industry was finally able to compete head-on with large American manufacturers. Antonavin 24, the Ukrainian Antonavin 24 is robust and reliable. Nowadays they're mostly freighters or military transport but some airlines, like North Korea's Air Koryo, still fly them. Boeing 727, seating about 150 passengers, the short and medium haul Boeing 727 became a workhorse of the airline industry. Tupolev 2134, a popular choice for the Soviet civilian aviation industry in the 1960s, the Tupolev Tu-134 features a distinctive glass nose and swept back wing. Embraer EMB-110 Bandai Aranti Back in 1968, the Embraer EMB-110 Bandai Aranti was Brazil's first foray into aircraft manufacturing. It was an experience that proved to be so successful that, five decades later, Embraer has consolidated its position in the select aircraft making elite, focusing on the regional and executive jet segment. Tupolev Tu-154, in addition to North Korea's Air Koryo, a couple of airlines, Arosa of Russia and Belavia of Belarus, still have the Tupolev Tu-154 in their fleets. The elegant aircraft is recognizable by its three engines at the back. DC-10 the DC-10 was Douglas' answer to the jumbo jet. It has a signature three-engine configuration, one below the tail and the other two in underwing pods. McDonnell Douglas MD-11, 
The MD-11 is the heavily modernized successor to the DC-10. Here is a KLM McDonnell Douglas MD-11 aircraft at Schiphol Airport, near Amsterdam, on October 26, 2014 during a special ceremony to commemorate its last commercial flight. Ilyushin 262 The Il-62 was the Soviet's main long-haul airliner in service with Aeroflot and the East German carrier Interflug among others. Air Corio still has a 62M jet in its fleet. Fokker 50 The Fokker 50, a propeller airliner designed for regional flights, was one of the most popular products of the historical Dutch aircraft manufacturer.